Hey guys, today I am coming to you with the battle of the vegan burger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to three different fast food joints that have a vegan burger option and we're gonna see which one is the best. We've got Red Robin, we're going to Carl's Jr. and we are going to Burger King, all of which have some sort of either impossible or beyond or something like that, some sort of vegan burger. We're gonna see who comes out on top on the battle of the vegan burgers. So I'm in the parking lot of my first stop. We went to Red Robin. Red Robin, yums. We're gonna see how theirs are. And this is what I got from Red Robin. Theirs is an impossible. So that is the kind of vegan meat we have in here is an impossible. It came, I'm getting everything basically ordered the same with ketchup and mustard, no extra uh, toppings like avocado or anything like that. Cause I figured it would be easiest to pick them out. And for all of them that have a vegan fry, we're gonna try the vegan fry. So um, I'm gonna do that second, but let's go in with this burger first. I do like that it is labeled well. You can see like it has the stick that says, yes, this is an impossible burger. Uh, so if you are very concerned about those things, I really like that. Um, I also like that they wrapped it and made it easy to eat. So let's go in with this. It's not the most flavorful burger of all time. It does have like ketchup and mustard on it, but you can't really taste it. I'm gonna try just the meat itself and see how it tastes on its own. I mean, it's pretty good, but it kind of tastes like an unseasoned burger. You know how burger needs like some salt and pepper and garlic, a little bit of seasoning in there. So it's all right. It has quite a bit of, I'm gonna show you on there comes with quite a bit of onion. It has pickle, it has lettuce and tomato on top. So I do appreciate all of those things. I'm gonna try one more bite and then we're gonna go to our next stop. On that bite, I did get more of the onion and pickle and that does help it along. Let's try some of their steak fries. Those are not fresh. Those are not great. I've had Red Robin fries before where they're really good. These are stale. And I literally mobile ordered this, picked it up as soon as it was ready and came and did this review right, right after. So that is not a Julie issue. That is a Red Robin issue. They are a little stale. They're not even hot. Uh, the burger is pretty hot. So I'm gonna go with that's a them issue. So Red Robin just kind of gets in. It's okay from me. So let's go to the next stop. Okay, friends, stop number two, Burger King. They have an impossible Whopper. Again, we got this with uh, ketchup and mustard. So it has the same toppings all throughout. And again, we got the, uh, I think I just dumped them out everywhere, but the fries that are vegan as well. Uh, they feel a little warmer, so I have better hopes for that. And again, I like that this is labeled very well, that we know that this is the impossible Whopper. That's what we're getting here. So then if you're going with a group, the family, whatever, you know that that's what yours is. Um, again, we have some lettuce, pickles, um, tomatoes, onions, that kind of a thing going. So let's dig in. I already like that better than the Red Robin one, which is kind of interesting because the Red Robin was a little over $15 and didn't come with a drink. The Burger King one came with fries and a drink and was $10.49 for, and both of them serve the same kind of impossible meat. So the meat itself is pretty much the same. I think what I'm tasting different that I like better at 
Burger King here is even, I think they flame broil even the impossible meat. You can taste that little bit of flame broiling and I'm gonna take one more bite. And the tomatoes are juicier. Overall, it just tastes like it has more flavor, but the bun is fresh. The toppings are more fresh and the burger itself tastes more like flame broiled, like the burger itself has more flavoring in it. I'm not sure if they salted it more or put more, or if it's just that it's flame broiled, but it does taste like it has more flavor so far. Let's try, let's try the Burger King fries. Let's see if they're any different or any better. This is a fresh fry. It's crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. They're not McDonald's fries, but they're, they're definitely better than Red Robin ones. They are, and I've had Red Robin ones when they're fresh, but those were stale and they were like styrofoam. Like old fries are not good, friends. So for today, the Burger King fries are better so far. So let's go try out and see how Carl's Jr. is gonna stack up. Last stop, Carl's Jr. So let's see what we got. This was our last stop was Carl's Jr. This came in price-wise at the midpoint. So this was $13. Um, these ones with combos, I got with bottled water on each one. So it was something I was gonna drink because I don't do soda and um, would be equally price pointed. So something that's gonna be different at Carl's Jr. than was at Burger King and Red Robin is they actually use a Beyond Meat instead of an Impossible. So those of you who have a preference for Impossible or Beyond, this one is a Beyond Meat. Again, I like that it is very labeled. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we have the same toppings, uh, lettuce, pickle, onion, tomato, we got ketchup and mustard on here. And we're gonna go in. We're gonna see how this one stacks up. Mm. I like that, I like that patty. I'm gonna take a bite of just the, just the Beyond Meat by itself. They've really cooked that patty well. It has like a really nice, again, even more flame grilled than um, the one at Burger King was. This has a really nice crispy outside to it. And I think I might like that patty better. Um, I'm gonna go in with another bite. Carl's Jr., I think they're doing it right. I like that meat better. I like the, the flame broiled crispiness of the outside really added a ton, a ton of flavor to it. Let's try the fries. Fries are banging. Fries are banging. Oh, they're delicious. I do know Carl's Jr. is a pretty national brand, but they are known as, I think, Hardee's outside of certain states it's still like the same stuff i believe you guys still have that beyond um superstar burger that i got that was just a single patty less tomato ketchup and mustard on the top um again i just the difference is where the meat i like the meat a little bit better and the flame broiledness of it really added a lot to the flavor was fantastic I will have my, okay, disclaimer, going to any of these places and having like a fast food uh, manufactured meat kind of burger is not like this is health food, friends. Like, let's be honest. We're not kidding ourselves here and going, okay, going out and doing that is a healthy choice. But I'm just saying, you're out and about with the kids and family and you want to go do something and you're like running through a drive through and that's what you have time for. Some of these are gonna be your better options. McDonald's has nothing. They have nothing. Wendy's, nothing. These, at least, these guys have put together something where you can at least have something that's like a meal. Red Robin, 
uh, Carl's Jr. and Burger King all have a an option where you can just go in and get a, a burger and have like a really nice time. I know at Red Robin, they actually had different sides besides the fries that would have been a more healthy option, but I wanted to compare the fries. They actually have like a steamed broccoli and a salad and stuff like that. You can do that at many of these other fast food places as well. You can get a side salad instead of the fries. That's going to be your much, much healthier option. Um, again, it's your health. Like decide how you want to take control of it. But in the battle of the vegan burgers, Carl's Jr. You can see the flames. They're on fire. They are definitely reigning supreme. Carl's Jr. number one. We're going to go Burger King in for number two. Burger King's nice because it was a little bit cheaper. So Carl's Jr. was 13. Uh, the Burger King was 10. And Reb Robin comes in last for both things. It was the worst burger. And it was like over $15 and didn't even include a drink for 15 bucks. I do know like uh, when you go eat Red Robin, sometimes you could go and get like table service. So you have that extra experience of having table service. But this idea was if you're running around and you're with the kids and you're just getting food to go. So we got the Red Robin to go. It's not your best option, friends. It just isn't. It's not as good as the other ones. It's going to cost you more. It just wasn't. It wasn't great. It was, there was nothing special about that burger. And Red Robin is known for having really good burgers, so I think they can do better than that. But here with the Battle of the Burgers, Carl's Jr. is your winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. If you can't get that, Burger King's actually not too bad. That's, that's, that's a pretty decent burger. So those are gonna be your go-tos. But literally, if you're sitting at home and you're in the mood for a burger, you know the, I'm gonna say go ingredients are in a portobello burger it's a portobello mushroom you grill it you use that instead of the meat you put the other stuff on it just like you would a burger that thing tastes way better than any of these things and way better ingredients for you so if you're having a burger craving i'm gonna go with that but you're out and about with the kids you're out and about doing all your stuff and you just need to run through a drive-through carl's jr carl's jr is gonna be the winner